congratulations. Uh, you just qualified to the Tokyo Paralympic Games. How do you feel and running through your feelings right now? I feel on cloud nine. It's been absolutely amazing. The intense training that I've done over the last eight to nine weeks have worked my way up to this point in time. And to now say that I'm going to Tokyo in 2021 is a massive, massive privilege. And I'm just so happy to everyone who's helped me get here. So thank you very much. And I'm very tired. <laughs> I can imagine. And not only what a performance today, but uh, it's about the journey, you know, not only today, but what you had to do, the dedication, the practice to get here. Can you walk us through a little bit about that journey and, and you know, uh, from your perspective? Of course. So this has been my first competition ever in Taekwondo. So jumping into the deep end, can, you can definitely say that. Um, so the journey itself since starting at GB at the beginning of March has been full throttle since day one, obviously to get me ready for these EQTs. But the team, the holistic team back at GB, have done a fantastic job in helping me with strength and conditioning, obviously the Taekwondo basis, but the holistic approach as well. So from the lifestyle, the mental health, the nutrition, the physio, absolutely everyone at GB have helped me. And I wouldn't be where I am today. Like I said, it's a big, massive thanks to them. And obviously those who helped me along the way back in Wales as well. But the journey has been, it has been tough, I won't lie. You have bad and good days, but it's staying focused and determined on the end goal. And when someone said I could potentially get a medal at the Paralympics, it was, it was, it, 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 it wasn't a tough, tough call at all. It was, yes, let's go for it. And that's what I've done. So the journey has been incredible. So just stay determined really on any journey you've got and a dream can come true is what I say to anyone. So inspiring and by qualifying, you're a part of history for Taekwondo as well because you will be competing uh, for the first time with Taekwondo at the Paralympic uh, Games. So congratulations again. Uh, do you want to take a time to, uh, to, you know, to say a, a thank you to anybody from your journey, your family, your friends, people, people uh, that, that's been part of your, of your story? Yeah, of course, I'll try and remember everyone so I can obviously get them on the list. But to my family, my friends, absolutely fantastic support system that they've been, helped me through the journey as to when I started. Um, like I said, the people down in Wales, so Disability Sport Wales, Taekwondo Kimru, um, the coaches down there as well. Even the lodgers who took me in when I was in Cardiff, um, absolutely fantastic. Again, the whole journey has been has been an absolute amazing roller coaster the past 12 months. I've only been doing Taekwondo since December 2019. And obviously with COVID and lockdown and the pandemic, it's been a bit of a struggle trying to get where I am today. But like I said, the support and then GB itself, the team there, my teammates, absolutely everyone, just a big massive thank you. And obviously if there's someone that I missed out on this thank you list, I do apologize, but just a massive thanks for all the support and help. So thank you very much to everyone. Thank you very much. We got Nick Hope from uh, the BBC Sports as well. Nick, you want to uh, get get some questions in uh, on your side? I think you pretty much nailed it, but I will say a huge congratulations uh, for your achievements there, Beth. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, to, to be part of it, history is, is incredible. And it must be amazing as well, given, you know, where you've been training and then coming into the GBB program, which has been so set up for success. You know, obviously on the Olympic side with your, your Jay Joneses, your Bianca Walkins, Latelo Mohammed, what is it like to now be part of that and taking, you know, the, the, the para taekwondo sport to the games and hopefully being part of history yourself? It's a fantastic, I think, a fantastic achievement myself, but a leap forward for para sports. I think it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves personally. Um, I won't lie to anyone. I didn't know there was a para taekwondo team come so many years ago and it came out the woodwork, hit me like a brick wall and here I am part of the team. A bit surreal still, I'm not going to lie, I still feel like I'm in a dream world but it will hit me one day honestly. I think it might have hit me today when I've won and actually got through. Um, but yeah, the guys and the, the people on the team and the coaches to to make para sports just a little bit more prominent within within the media because let's face it, the media does have a big a big telling as to what gets put out there and the coverage and I think it deserves the credit that it deserves for all the Paralympic um, individuals across the world. It deserves more recognition, I think, being a part of that and able to help towards that. If I can give a little bit, whether that be volunteering or putting my name out there um, to get other individuals, other individuals with disabilities into the pathway, 
then I think it'll be a great achievement. So, so yes, that's that's that. And you've obviously, you know, absolutely smashed it out of the park with that result today. How do you sort of go? I mean, obviously, it's very fresh, but do you start now thinking about, OK, Paralympics and, and, and we want to be on the podium there as well? Or is, or is that something to, to come in the, in the months ahead? I think I'm the kind of person who takes each day as it comes. Like I say, you can have good and bad days and you never know what day is going to be bad, what day is going to be good. It's just how you wake up in the morning. Um, mentality is a key thing behind any athlete, I think because you can have the physical ability, but again, coupled with um, the mental strength to be able to get yourself through. With having day-by-day -day goals, I also have, if you want to say, a winning mentality, because if you can dream yourself there and you can see yourself on the podium, then let it be that. Let, let yourself be on the podium. I mean, doubt does creep into your head. You can have external factors that do influence you, whether that be family, friends, or whether it just be a bad day and you let training really affect you for the full week, it just dominoes on. But as long as you can, just, like I say, if you strive and, and you have that picture in your head to strive for and you've got the personality and determination to focus towards that end goal, um, then, then you can do it. And day by day, but stay focused. That is my, my game. And I'm hoping to medal at Tokyo. That is my end goal. What colour, I do not know, but I'm just thankful to be going. I'm not going to lie, I'm very thankful to be going, so that is an achievement in itself, but I do hope to medal, and like I say, if you can picture it, then the, the whale, your oyster, do what you can. Massive good luck, huge congratulations today. <laughs> One more, just at the end there, I was thinking and watching, very impressed in such a short space of time, clean turning kicks, some really good counter back kicks as well, was that part of the, the game plan, or did that just come to you in the moment? Within, within the technical and tactical perspectives, given such a short period of time to get me honed in, you focus on the strengths and, again, I won't lie, um, back leg was one of my strengths, so you go out there and you, you play to your strengths, um, regardless of the individual you come up against. If you've got a game plan going on and you can execute it well and you get the points, then you get the win, and that's what I've done today, so yes. I played on my strengths, Dr. Cullen or John, if you wish to be called that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, you've promoted me already. You've outed me as a doctor, so I'll go back to John. But the last thing I was going to say is, who is the first phone call now? Maybe you've made it already. Who are you letting know the good news that you are going to the Paralympics? My mum, she probably is watching. I did send her the YouTube link this morning, um, but my family will be the first people I call just to FaceTime to say hi. And you've got a daughter who's going to the Paralympics. <laughs> Truly inspiring, amazing stuff from Thanks, all of us. John. Well done. And we hope that you're having an equally positive phone call back from Tokyo in 80 days time. Thank you very much. And thank you, Arthur, as well. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Bye. Bye.